Hi again, this is John Kelsey with ElectricalEstimatingAcademy.com. In this video I wanted to show or share how it is that estimating software works, okay? I get asked that question a lot. How do you know what's the basics of it? How does software work? So I'm just going to show the process here on the whiteboard. Okay? Electrical estimating starts out with a blueprint or a drawing. Okay? Now if you're doing a small project, you might not have a drawing. What I always do, if I'm estimating a small project that doesn't have a drawing, sometimes I go to the site and take lots of pictures. Or I just create a sketch myself. Okay, so assuming you have a, a drawing or a set of blueprints, so what you do is you take a material list and you write it down, okay? We call it a material takeoff. So you write down an exact material list of the stuff that has to be installed. If you're estimating residential, it'll probably be stuff like Romex, like plastic boxes and devices, okay? In commercial, it might be conduit, unistrut, all thread, different uh, devices, plugs and switches and light fixtures. Okay, you write that down and then when you're done with that process what you do is you input that material into the estimating software. Now I, I can't just demonstrate it here but what the estimating software does is it pulls material prices in for what you've input and it, pu it pulls in labor. Now the way it does that just on the board again here is the estimating software has a labor catalog now all this stuff is electronic in today's world, okay? It's all electronic. So when you, let's say that you input a 20 amp receptacle on your software, the program goes to the labor catalog, finds the 20 amp receptacle, and inputs it on your takeoff, okay? So it inputs the, the, um, the labor for the receptacle from the labor catalog. It also has a material catalog. So what it does is it goes at the same time to the material catalog, finds that 20 amp receptacle, and puts in a price for the receptacle, okay? So it pulls the labor from the labor catalog to install the receptacle and the material price for the material, uh, uh, price to price the material, I should say, okay? So, so again, with the material catalog, usually, I mean, in, in today's world, again, this is all done electronically. They go to some pricing service, they pull off millions of, or thousands and thousands of items and update the pricing, okay? And that's the way it works. Now there's three more components. I think you can see it here. There's three major components of electrical estimating software. They are takeoff, and that's what I'm pretty much demonstrating right here. The takeoff, where you input the materials, and the material gets input, it, it pulls in labor and material, okay? There's what's called a recap. Now a recap is what's called, a, or another word for recap, I should say, is a summary, okay? It's a summary of your estimate. As you input materials with pricing and labor into your takeoff, then the recap is going to display the total number of hours, okay? Now again, I don't have anything to demonstrate that here, but if you use estimating software, you'll see what I mean. There's a recap, okay? And then from the recap, after you're done with the recap, or let me say the recap compiles all the hours and all the dollars of material, you input your expenses, maybe you get quotes from subcontractors, you input that into the recap, and then the program, you would develop a, a proposal on the program, and a proposal is what you submit or what you send to your client, okay? So, again, those are the main components. You have a material, you have a blueprint, you make a material list. From the material list, you input your materials into the software, okay? The software pulls from the, the labor catalog and the material catalog, and it comes up with totals that are shown on the recap or the summary. And then when you're done with that, you create a proposal and make and propose to your client what it is you want to provide. I hope that helps. It's really, it's oversimplified. It's kind of an overview, but a lot of people ask me that question. And I'll tell you, if you don't have electrical estimating software, you need to get some. It's just the only way to fly. Okay, let you go. Take care for now. Talk to you later.